What's going on everybody? Uh, today we're outside mushroom hunting. So let me show you what we got. Uh, I did find one small black in an area that we picked up the other day. So if you guys can see that in the bag, that's probably two inches, about an inch and a half, two inches and pretty fresh. So this came up here and must have been one of the small, small ones, about half of the size that I missed last time I was out. So do you guys see the morale? Right there check that out so and what i did as soon as i find one before i even move kind of just glance around and look and then lo and behold look what else i see another one and we're gonna go ahead and pick them just oh we grabbed the whole thing i'm gonna leave that little piece there and there we go, we got some more. Now we're sitting on four, not big ones yet. And let's go over here, check this one out. Looks like the top is, be careful, it's fragile. Get him out of there. Oh, he got a little bug in there. He's not bad. We'll cut that off when we get, uh, could have prepared them. And we're just gonna look for more. I'll get back to you guys. So I was in this area two, three days ago. Uh, and everything was really small if I did find it. And so just kind of scouring now that the rain has um, matted everything down. And walk in and I see one just laying there on the ground, which is cool. Probably kicked over from a deer, um, or maybe even me. You know, and look at this. Pretty good score. Oh. Looks good, doesn't look rotten. Feels okay. So we're gonna get him. And again, just pinching at the bottom and pulling it off. Here's another one. Again, right next to an elm. He looks a little little dried out. It's been here for a while. So it looks like we're running into some yellows. I was on the, the phone, but I just want to give you this layout of where we're at right now. So in this like marshy area, typically you're not gonna find anything in here, at least from my experience. I might head over there and look uh, around this base of that tree just because it looks dead, newly dead, but it's really, really wet here. So uh, here we go. Well, this is kind of a slope that goes up. It's not a big slope uh, and it doesn't face any particular way. Like actually, I don't know which way it's facing. The sun's not out, but uh, I was just sitting here talking on the phone and I seen a couple here. Actually, here's another one I see. It's a small yellow. See, here's another yellow. There's another yellow right behind it. So, looking at five, maybe six. Yeah, here we go. So here's one. Here's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. This is public land. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick these. Because if I don't, somebody else will. <laughs> and, you know, you could... People argue all the time. You could wait they could get bigger why don't you wait until they get bigger well if we're not on private land then these i guarantee these will get picked here this weekend people are waiting for this weekend there is pecker heads all through this area i actually just picked one that i kicked over with my foot it wasn't bad so before leaving this area i was like you know what i'm going to check for some more and there's actually two more. One right here. There's one back there. But this is a nice, nice pecker head. And definitely gonna put him in the in the bag. Hammering out the mushrooms today. I've never known this area. Oh my god. There we go. It's, this is just this area is just loaded with, with mushrooms, guys. 
that. Get him, him picked. Okay, I'm gonna pinch at the bottom. Let him pull off. Nice. All right. This is a golden spot. This is a crazy good spot. But here is looks like a peck head that's um, didn't really get a chance to grow. Dang. Um, it's all right though. We'll take them. Here's another one right here. So we're gonna take him too as well. All right, not bad, not bad at all. This is going to be the third year hunting, and I've really struggled to find uh, areas. Oh, there's another peckerhead laying right there. I'm going to go grab him uh, to find some areas, and it seems like I'm doing pretty good. So if I had any advice to give anybody on mushroom hunting, for morels, even in the state of Ohio, Pennsylvania. Just stay at it. Eventually, um, things work out for you. One thing I uh, just mentioned, you know, you, you'll start to find them slowly, but surely you'll start to understand the terrain a little bit better. And it just seems to, to work out. And um, just, Take your uh, take in the surroundings, the type of environment, the type of weather, the year. Like I know now that this area here is going to be a nice uh, area, early mushroom hunting. Hopefully for a while, that tree probably got a couple years left. I know now to come here early, so this is going to be my a nice early season. <laughs> if this produces like this every year, then. I'm sure we're going to have some good harvest, at least early. I just wanted to mention that I've been walking around for about 20 minutes now and haven't found anything else. Uh, it really goes to show how quick you can go from finding them to, to not finding them, whether you're just not seeing them or the area. we got some more here. I'm going to take these. Again, we're at public. Another tree. We got some right here. So I am going to take them just because we're here on public. And if you don't, somebody else will. Here's another one. Get him. And i seen another one off in the distance. Somewhere here. Here we go. Pretty small. Well, we're going to take them anyways. All right. Well, we got one right here. This little guy. Let's see if we got any more here. Not really seeing any more, but with this hunter over here, I'm going to take this. All right. I'm going to look a little bit more and come back to you if we find anything. All right, so I didn't make it very far. <laughs> Another tip to have, I just moved all these leaves on accident, is to have a stick with you so you can move around some of the bushes when you're walking around. Like, I would have never seen these if I didn't actually move around some of this, these bushes here. So we're going to pick these ones. bit small but don't feel guilty taking them especially on private land or public land because if you don't somebody else will let's have a look at these ones this one's dried out a little bit this one might have been eaten a little bit it's all right just pop them off today we're doing pretty good no, I can't complain with that. That's, that's quite a bit. That's actually more than I've ever found in my life. <laughs> I'm going to do a recap here once we get back to the truck and uh, just go over what we found. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dump these out and check them out and then count them up and see what we got. Uh, really nothing to write home about. This one right here is pretty hefty. Um, nice one. Got a couple decent ones in here, but uh, they're real soggy. Got washed out here. A couple of yellows. These pecker heads, man, they really fell apart in the bag. They got washed out. But uh, all in all, it was a good hunt. So uh, I'm going to head back home and, and get these going. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel.